Hello, and welcome to day four of our 21 days of prayer and fasting and tuning in to the voice of Jesus. Today, I just wanna share one verse from Isaiah chapter 30, which says, and your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, this is the way, walk in it. And in that verse, Isaiah is just encouraging us to take time and space to hear the voice of God, because then it sets our course, it sets our direction going forward. And we've been talking about different ways that we can hear the voice of God. I guess one of the most common ways, one of the ways that we'd expect someone to talk to us about is by uh, hearing God's voice through his word. And for me, in seasons where I'm particularly wanting to tune in to the voice of God, rather than read great swathes of the Bible, although I believe that is a good thing for us to do, I... I tend to break it down and just take maybe one story of Jesus in one of the Gospels. And I give myself a bit of time and space and I read that story. I invite the Holy Spirit to speak to me and I read it several times. And then maybe I picture myself in that story and I think about the different characters in it. And as I do that, it's like the, the story comes alive and there'll be little details of it or particular phrases that, that uh, I notice that maybe I'd never noticed before. And as I do that, I get encouraged because I feel that that is God speaking to me. The other thing that I do is sometimes I take just one verse and I use some time to, as it says in the Bible, to kind of meditate on it, to reflect on it. And so I take one verse and I maybe write it on a bit of paper and carry it with me through the day. And at various points, I get it out and I look at it and I reflect on it. And it's amazing how much you can get out of one verse. Take something like uh, Psalm 23, verse one, the Lord is my shepherd, simply just five words. But actually, if you give that a bit of time, it's really deep. The Lord is my shepherd, not just any God, the one and only true God is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. So when we worship God, we're not just worshipping any God. We're, we're worshipping the God who's the Lord of our lives. The Lord is right here, right now. God is alive, living and active and shepherding me. The Lord is my shepherd not just everyone a shepherd, but my personal shepherd. And the Lord is my shepherd. And then I think a little bit about what it is to be a shepherd. Not that I know much about that in general, but it's amazing how out of just one small verse, if you carry it around with you, read it regularly, God can bring out such a lot of encouragement to us. So I'd encourage you, why not pick one verse today and carry it around with you or read one story from the gospel, but read it at a number of times at a different points in the day and invite Jesus to speak to you out of it. May you have a wonderful day and we'll see you again tomorrow.